This is from the book Morris Divine Last and Divine National Movement of North America. Divinely prepared by Noble Juali. At the current time, the door of the mysteries is opening far and wide. The age of Pisces is at the end, and the Moors are coming to receive their inheritance. Juali instigated the process where when he returned to America and released a publication known as Circle 7 Quran. While Drew Ali did not deliver the concise formula as was clearly delineated in synchronicity in the seventh seal, he represented the energy and was the energy of such. Drew Ali was very a part of the mystics and regality that enabled to write the book when Ju what Drew Ali wrote geared towards a format that will be accepted to the particular time it apparently worked quite well when the Moore's Science Temple reached its peak in 1929 it was on the hills of the greatest but the most dangerous discoveries Drew Ali ever made. In 1928, Ali attended a Pan-African conference in Havana, Cuba, where he enjoyed recognition from hosts of countries. There were, of course, recognizing him as sovereign status as a Moorish national who was representing the ancient empire of Mexico. Keep in mind, the other countries have no reason to fear Juwali or what he represented. It was the conference, however, that he received a document which had changed the face of the Moor science forever. It would eventually lead to the greatest schism. The name, this is the name of the Moorish community, uses as dispersals of Moor science into different groups. This document received a copy of mandate the Mexican Empire extending a large grant Western Hemisphere to certain Europeans. I have not seen this document and exact contents highly mysterious, yet its ramifications literally turned the United States of America upside down. Essentially, it leased America to certain parties for particular years, not unlike the way a China leased Hong Kong to Great Britain. This, the lease was in 2004. It is entirely reasonable to believe that such document, if it still exists, can be brought up to the light. It is a mere relic of the lost and forgotten error that has the significance of a legal system that would be fine except for one important point. If you truly study the detailed legal history of the United States of America, you will understand this is more than a little truth to prospect of the being of such documents. The entire legal history of the United States is predicated on such preposition. What is known as Secretary of State Hughes from the government attended the Pan-African Conference and was privy to this mandate. So, other heads of the state as a result, a closed conference between several nations was held in Geneva, Switzerland, and 
Lambert won. Series of discussions and negotiations began. The Geneva Conference went on for five years, but records still keep still to this very day. It is known that the international banks called in their loans of this potential legal threat and the stock market crashed in 1929. Several countries, which included United States, Portugal, France, and Spain, declared bankruptcy in order to relevant powers to buffer themselves from any legal claims. In the case of the United States of America, it is reorganized as a new corporate legal status. Franklin Roosevelt was a part of the partial entire plan when he abolished the gold standard and created the New Deal. Federal Reserve notes were the issue in the place of the gold-backed currency. The great seal of the Moors was used on the back of the notes. People behind Geneva conferences were concerned about potential boomerangs from the Moors issue that began full-barreled character assassination of Moors heritage. The most flagrant example were the two Master Masons put together in almost an Andy, Andy show. It began the first nationally syndicated radio show in the history. It deliberately designed to spoof the Morris Temple and lampooning, lampooning them as a mystic order of the Knights of the Sea and coldly referred to them as sardines. From one perspective, this can be viewed as a hysterically funny, especially when you consider dignitaries which were given titles such as swordfish, mackerel, and kingfish. On the other hand, it could be, on the other hand, it was a deliberate and malicious act of intent designed to betray any more as the most laughable example of what could be termed as the lowest common denominator. Not long, Amos and Andy had its national debut. Ju Ali arrested and mysteriously died. This was ignored by both history and conspiracy books. When you seem the integrally connected to the Moors or the history of the world, let the United States seem a guidepost of the history of the planet. This is the lamp of illumination, the hermit's lamp from Tarot. The secret societies have played along in tribute in these writings. By the reason of self-conditioning utterly preposterous to the old Moorish Empire, to have an actual court of law claim on the country, controversially, that the world leaders have been definitely afraid of such and have prepared to avoid the inevitable. Once again, the more sure to be hardwired into an infrastructure of our own conscience as well as historical paper trail.